flower square. This gate leads to octagon. It is the most beautiful covered pedestrian passage in Croatia. It links the square with Ilica Street. The octagonal central area gave the name to the place. This graceful structure was designed by Josip Vansash and built in 1900. During the construction, Vansash befriended a stray dog. When it died in an accident, he put up a plaque, which can now be seen outside. But it was built for the first Croatian savings bank. Even among the citizens of Zagreb, few people know there is a museum here. The only bank museum in Croatia. There are coins of ancient Greeks and Romans, since they lived in the lands of today's Croatia. The medieval coins minted by Croatians and the money of the Republic of Dubrovnik. And finally, the paper money printed during the Second World War. The Croatian currency is called kuna, which means martin. Because the taxes paid by serfs in medieval Slavonia were called kunovina, after the martin hides which were used as the currency at the time. This is the biggest collection of shares and stocks in Croatia. These stocks are also a reminder of Croatian history. Some of them are in foreign languages, as you can see here. This one is in Hungarian. And this is Italian, since this stock was issued in Rijeka in 1910. They are so exquisitely made that students of graphic arts visit the museum to examine them. The last and the most interesting collection is the piggy bank collection. In Croatia, these things are called kasica prasica. The collection was created by an employee of the bank who traveled the world and collected piggy banks from more than 70 countries. The container has the shape of a pig because, in English, pig means both the animal and the pottery material. Between art and kitsch, these happy piglets are forever waiting to be filled.